ISO 8's Supernatural. This one's going to be quick. Uh, and by the way, I've left it intentionally blank. So, starting with, uh, we'll start with Mordo. Um, Mordo is a very simple character. Uh, he's, he's a slot fill kit character. He does what his kit tells him to do. So, for that reason, he doesn't really do damage, so both of the damage abilities kind of go off the table, especially because uh, getting a, a second attack with this to apply an additional random effect is cool, but not great. Uh, and critting on either of his two attacks does not matter in any way, shape, or form. So those two are gone. So that leaves us with healer, fortifier, and uh, sh skirmisher. That's right. Healer is reasonable. He heals himself um, based on uh, the death of a character or a mystic specifically. So that's okay. Uh, but to be fair, he does heal himself and most injured ally. So, uh, not unreasonable to put healer on him. I like Skirmisher. Uh, I like Skirmisher because of how it interacts with all of his abilities. Demons of Danak will put at least one ability or remove one from somebody. Uh, Mesmerize uh, is already a great attack, but since it does have a primary target, uh, it will either put a vulnerable on the target as they're stunned or blinded, or it will remove a buff from that target, so it would be really fun, even if you get stuck and you have to do it on a, a taunting character, you might end up being able to remove the taunt from that character, and then even though they're stunned, and the taunted character is stunned, you could still move on. So I think that Skirmisher has been amazing, especially in key fights in war uh, with Mordo uh, and the way his team works out. Moving on to... Oh, Fortifier, don't bother. So moving to Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider and Elsa are two sides of the coin. You've heard me say that before, and I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, basically, you want one on one and one on the other. And yes, there's better on one than the other, but this is assuming a perfect world where all your characters are evenly invested in or even perfectly invested. In. For Ghost Rider, uh, I chose Striker because I think the whip is really cool. That's it. Or the shotgun, rather, is really cool. So uh, that's it. That's the entire reason. Ghost Rider has a pretty decent damage stat. His health isn't great. Uh, I don't really need Skirmisher on him. Raider would be okay, but the only attack he has that multi-hits is High Cycle, so uh, his Health Cycle, so I'd rather just have more damage on him than a chance of crit. Uh, again, the Shotgun Blast is his assist, and it's super cool, and I love to watch it. So I just want this uh, on there. And that's the only reason. Hopefully it's super cool and does damage is good enough for everybody else. Uh, Elsa Bloodstone is Raider for the exact opposite reason. Quite literally every single one of her attacks multi-hits. Uh, I want there to crit. So that's it. Multi-hit right here. Multi-hit right here. Multi-hit. <laughs> Six hits right here. Like it's almost a no-brainer. It's almost like... Raider was designed for her specifically. Uh, can damage work too? Of course. Damage would, you know, she's hitting a lot, so more damage is better. But the way this team works, you do want those crits to put multiple stacks on as characters go. Uh, Raider is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, Doctor Strange is another character very similar to uh, Domino in the uh, X-Force team, where, uh, yes, Skirmisher would be great, but he has a move that removes buffs already. And healer might be okay, but, like, he only does this one thing that heals. Um, and damage, well, he doesn't do damage. We Like, these two attacks do no damage. So, Raider and, and Striker are kind of out of there. So, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Doctor Strange needs to survive in order for this team to be insane. Like, specifically through Book of Ashanti or Master of the Arcane Arts. Uh, so, uh, put Fortifier on him. You know, I made him, I gave him that little health pool. And uh, hopefully it'll keep him alive. I wish... Uh, it, the cool thing about it is, like, he really doesn't benefit from any of the other ISOs meaningfully. I guess Skirmisher is okay um, from bulk of uh, Balthak and Winds of Batum, but... No, just give him Fortifier. Make him tanky. Like I said, he doesn't have much health, so Healer doesn't give you the benefit you think it does. But at least Fortifier has a chance of keeping him alive long enough. Uh, and then every turn consistently making him a little bit stronger so he can actually book of Ashanti. Most of the damage is coming from those two uh, guys over here anyway. And last but not least, we have uh, Scarlet Witch. This is going to be interesting, guys. I want you to tell me what to put on Scarlet Witch because, let's face it, 
Uh, none of her attacks actually do damage, so Striker is useless. Chaos Wave at least is a multi-hit. There's a chance that you can crit and get a vulnerable stack. Uh, Warp Reality uh, doesn't target the opponent, but so like you can't even skirmish your value out of this, but these two kind of do. Uh, you could put Fortifier on her, but why? And then you could put Healer on her, but why? Like, unfortunate. And now again. When in doubt, go ahead and put Fortify or Healer on the character, right? Or just, it's fine. But she's in desperate need of a rework. And she's getting one. Her and Vision are getting a rework. So this might not be, she might not permanently be a part of this team when we get characters like Blade and Morbius and Mephisto and other stuff. But for now, I, I don't even think it's worth it to put the stat increases. Like, I think she's a pure waste of ISO 8s. And most importantly, I think she's the most replaceable character on her team to begin with. So comment below and let me know what you would put on her or what you have put on her. Because healer doesn't work. That's not... It's redistribute, so it doesn't heal. And it doesn't increase the heal. And if it does, it's bugged. Uh, this spreads negative buffs, which is cool, but, like... None of it matters. So I guess, like, Fortifier is probably okay on her just to keep her alive. Maybe? Eh, that's it. Unfortunately... The Supernatural is four amazing characters and one in desperate need of a reworked character, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this was a quick one, because it could be, because, you know, pretty easy team to deal with. So, hopefully, uh, it was helpful to you, but I don't think many of this was particularly high science and technology. <laughs> I don't think anything was here. I will uh, end this video, though, on a relatively uh, reasonably quick note. That the Supernatural team will change over 2021. So hopefully you can kind of look at this video at some point now. And then maybe, I don't know, four, five, six months down the road. Something has changed and you're like, remember when Scarlet Witch was useless? You know, that kind of thing. Or uh, remember when the Supernatural team had like wizards on it? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much the overall uh goal of the supernatural team going into 2021 is to be less wizards and more monsters anyway uh hopefully this information was helpful uh hopefully you do comment as to what you think scarlet witch gets like i said not healer um that's pretty much it so have a good night guys have a great day i've been tony's congealy and i'll catch you later